summertime and that means the temperatures are going up and that can be a real concern for those of you who have pets. Dr. Jimmy Yu of UVet has some suggestions to avoid heat uh, related problems just like people have it, uh, dogs have it too. Yeah, so of course first of all you want to make sure you don't leave your pets inside the car by itself without the AC on or you know for a long period of time that's definitely not a good thing. Secondly if you know you got outside pets and you know temperature is above you know it, it's around three digits or close and it's it's now even a windy day and there's no shed uh, air, share the area for them or water it's not good you know definitely not a good situation third thing is if you take your dog for a walk and but it's really a hot day during the lunch time it's hot for you it's hot for your pets and especially if you have pet, they are flat faces, you know, like Boston Terrier, Frenchies, or cats, Persian. Those are pets you want to specially watch for because their breathing system is very different from others and they will get heat stroke much easier than other pets. And so heat stroke, very serious. What are the signs? So the signs of heat stroke for uh, dogs, you, I mean, for, for them, you will see them, you know, hyperventilation or open mouth painting or drooling or they you know they just breathing so fast and they couldn't catch them up some more severe they just slow down or they collapse or some will showing sign of seizure or you just you call their name they are not respond to you and some will cause sudden death yeah. all right it can be that hot so you have some items here to kind of help alleviate the heat that's uh, the infecting your pet Absolutely. This is something not say, okay, I could do everything at home. No. This is for, you know, when that happened, first call the vet office, let them know you're coming. Secondly, before, you know, on the way, on the trip to the vet office, grab some of the household item. You know, if you got alcohol, you could put in the, you know, towel or the paper towel, you know, just rub on the side, you know, area. Or if you got ice pack, rub with towel too, not direct, but indirect, you know, put on the side if you got a couple of them. Or if you got the, uh, you know, kind of water, we don't want cold water because that drop the temperature too fast. We want just kind of, um, uh, just like, like a cool water, not, not cold, without the ice pack. So it could lower the temperature. We want to lower the temperature kind of gradually because when you are doing this, they need to be close monitor and you don't want to drop the temperature too quick. That's, that's not good too. So how, how are you using this? Just pouring the water on them? You, yeah, so you know, you have water. So I had this, you could kind of, you could kind of, you know, pour some on them or just give them a mist, you know, around them. Right, or right. use the towel, you just, you know, kind of, kind of squeeze on them on the side. Not the whole body soaking wet, that kind, but it's, you know, prob if you have somebody help you during the, on the way to the vet office, that's the best. If it's not, you know, you just need to be kind of creative. Maybe, you know, if you got a big, large towel, them with water, cover them, and just, there you go. Get to the to dock them. as quick as you can. But how do you treat it when they get in the door? So when they got here, we need to make sure their, uh, you know, temperature is right. And like I say, it depends on the temperature. Some we will drop their temp uh, temperature, uh, you know, body temperature a little cooler. Some we drop, if it's not as urgent, we will drop blood and see how bad they are and do our exam and kind of go from there. Usually we need to try it then. But that at-home treatment before they get here is really important, isn't it? Yes. It is. All right. Thank you, Dr. Yu. More lifestyles right after this. Stay with us. The